Oh, hello there, everybody. Welcome on back to some more Slay the Old Spire. We're doing Ascension 6 as the Ironclad. Uh, there's a reason that we don't have full, full thingies here. I'll chat about that in a second. There is actually a very rare chance of an elite snippage. So, I'll go with enemies in your next combat. Have 1 HP. We'll see if we can make it work. I highly, highly doubt it, but... That's life, man. Life is a series of highly, highly doubting it. Uh, I've been liking Havoc a lot, but I, I think that uh, is probably not the right move here. I do like Shockwave. And uh, Dream is already dead. Push me to the edge. Uh, that sucks, dude. A little bit. Give me a shrug early. So the reason why we are a little bit... Um, a little bit undermanned on this one. Warcry is not good, dude is not good i i am a little bit upset spaghetti about that one and we are gonna have to fight an elite here with i'm not gonna say minimal action in our deck but not great stuff in our deck i'll, I'll tell you that i actually think you just don't take anything I, flex used to be one of my favorite uh cards not pardon me dude just clicked out of the damn game we're we gonna have this issue again you stupid son of a gun not much I can do about that. Shockwave. This is going to make them vulnerable. Uh, which I think is valuable. You know. Give me bash on top of the uh, deck. That way we can bash. It's going to do... Uh, let's see. It's going to do 12 damage. Apply 2 vulnerability. It's not horrible at all. Can we kill this guy? Very low chance, I'd say. So I think you, you probably focus on some defense here and i still you know i know when i said i was gonna play bash i think it's better to um do this here kind of sucks we waste a turn of uh, vulnerability but life goes on and we get into some real trash bag turns dude arizona trash bag turns uh that's life hitcha hitcha we're gonna take 20 don't really want to take 20 but we're gonna take 20 uh we gotta knock out that guy just like that. And now we can start to uh, live our life here. I'm sadly not going to play that. I think that reserving our HP is a little bit better. But anyway, I started to run uh, on camera. And then a guy came and knocked on my door. He ended up being here for 30 minutes. And uh, I, then I had to go pick up Ana. And it was like, you know what? At this rate, I was going to restart. It wasn't that good of a run anyway. We, we weren't even off of the first floor yet. So it was kind of wasn't worth my my time or energy to continue that one i'll just restart and i mean so far this run is looking just absolutely splendid if you haven't noticed um we've lost pretty much all of our hp uh, on this run so far you know in ascension six you start each run damage to begin with we're gonna be down to 12 on this fight this is just sadly the case uh of a run not giving me enough early uh, i know that sounds like i'm um, being picky and going oh i need the run to give me everything i need the run to give me you know demon form immolate right off the start so that i can do uh, 28 damage to each enemy you know repeatedly for the rest of my life i'm not looking for that dude i'm just looking for a couple of good cards and a couple of good luck and, and i'm gonna be real i think we're we're totally dead because there's no reasonable way that we kill this guy i mean i i will heal for a chunk that will not wake him. We will probably pop the strength potion. Not on this turn, though. Give me cleave on the next turn. Sadly, he is not going to be vulnerable on this turn any longer. He will wake up here, so I think you, you have to do this. You did so little damage to him, it's ridiculous. And dude, this guy has absolutely a crap load of HP right now. I mean, we got to crank this guy as quickly as possible if we have any hope of coming out of this alive. But I think we're dead, and I think that that's something that I, I will just accept uh, and, and be okay with. Because starting now, I don't know how the hell we're doing 41 damage to him. Especially in a situation where... We ain't putting up enough block to stop this either. You know, we're dead on this turn. Not yet. But we will be dead after this turn if I... Well, dude, could have done much better there. We might survive this, actually. Depends on draw. 
we will survive this. Boy, dude. It's a little bit funky. Give me the carnage and damage output. Dude, I gotta fight another elite. What a fantastic path. I, I am so happy to be alive and you know, thank God we're fighting these people again because they, they were so easy the first time around. Now, we have gotten significantly stronger since then. If we come out of this alive, then you know what, dude? I'm in. But we are dead. Yeah, we're dead. Are we dead? We're not dead. Pretty damn close to dead. We'll say it like that, but we are not dead. We're going to have 2 HP after this. I'm fine with my my every bone of my existence, dude. We are dead because I was an idiot and played the wrong card. Okay, you know what? The run sucked anyway. Restart. We gave it we gave it a good good try, good college try. Um but that run was not going to give us what we wanted. Can we get an elites? Um there is a chance. I will always try. Think it's a pretty low likelihood yet again. Um but hey, always worth trying. I don't know, dude. Is, is Rampage something that is good? I don't think so. I, I don't really think any of those are good. I don't know why I'm having some weird issues with I just don't like anything that the run is giving us here. But we'll see if maybe I can find some things that I do like as we move on. I do like Thunderclap. I think it's a great upgrade. And I think you have to go this route. If you have any hope of making things work. Um, Flame Barrier is just an awesome card. Not uh, combat, which is awesome. We're going to remove Regret. And then, uh, I mean, hell, dude. Do we want to... I mean, what path are we going to take? We're probably going to cut up this way. Whatever we do, we got to fight two elites. And I think I'd rather cut up that way. So let's get an upgrade in. And I think that, you know, upgrading Thunderclap immediately to make it a little bit more viable. You know, elite fights, you're looking at, um, you're looking at probably not a whole lot of, um, y'all. Early Immolate is insane. I'm going to take this route. The shop's not valuable to us at the current moment. But we want to, uh, maximize, you know, on this current route, we want to take cards that allow us to fight elites easier. Uh, and I think I maybe played this turn wrong but he's done on the next turn as long as we do 12 damage two strikes that will do it my friend it's an insanely strong run right out the get-go i'm gonna not take anything i'm happy with what we have right now bag of prep also amazing we'll continue to smith i think the immolate to be 28 damage to all enemies is just nuts um it's a weird one I actually think that I'm just going to cut strikes out of the deck. A um, little bit weird. I'll be the first to tell you that. Um, but I think it works. Thunderclap is great here. Simply to remove. You get a little bit of damage on all of them and then remove their uh, things. Another Thunderclap and an Immolate kills them. I mean, an Immolate right here kills all but one of them. You know what? An Immolate followed by this. Kills all of them, we take no damage. I 100% think that's fine. So, call me crazy. I, I do think that another Thunderclap is not necessarily a bad idea. But I'm just going to take two max HP. I think that this deck benefits from being a little bit smaller right now. So, I'm going to ride that to the finish line. And I think that starting off this turn by just blocking fully will almost always be more beneficial. We'll get Flame Barrier out to do some damage. I, I find it very difficult to believe that I will not be surviving um, the first floor here. And we're on Pen Nib. Immolate? That'll do it, dude. 42 damage. We probably... Eh, there was no way in hell we were going to beat him without using uh, without using our Pen Nib charge. But come on. This is a great time for Immolate, dude. You did not give me Immolate. Just so you know. Wanted to make sure you knew that. We're probably going to take 14 damage here. You know, kill off one of them. Actually. I'll do that. I think that that's, like, fine. We take 10 damage off of this. Um, 
don't really mind and then we'll just immolate kill the rest of them so a skill potion a dex potion and a power potion dude all it means is that we will be uh defeating this boss and, and that is fine is this a zero cost dude i love that upgrade but i think the flame barrier is just a better upgrade uh it doesn't do a lot of amazing things against the slime here but don't really care at the current moment give me a power um it's kind of a garbage one It, it, it's pretty bad, actually. I think I'm going to take Brutality. A and it's not going to do that much to us in terms of uh, Slime Man here. And it puts us in a situation where... Uh, so do that. Do this. It's a clothesline. It's actually like an insanely good thing for us. And then we'll just play that. The burn will hit it. We, we don't want to split him yet. Although it's like super tempting to. We will split him if we do anything. I think I'm going to drink this. Mm, I'm going to just double our block. It's a weak one, but it is what it is. So we'll take 18 damage. But what, now we're in a situation where, I mean, we're just here to hit him. Yikes, man. Uh, you basically want immolate and something else if we're gonna if we're going to do this. Yeah, th this is the ideal scenario. So now this is going to do um, 84 damage and kill him. Okay. It's a beauty of Pendant, man. Um, I think Reaper is just always good. But it benefits from strength. I mean, we do have the vulnerability thing rocking here. Uh, Impervious, always good. I think you take Reaper. Uh, believe it or not. I mean, I do like Busted Crown. We benefit greatly from it. Boy, I love Pandora's box, though. I mean, I really do. I'm on a Pandora. It's weird. We 100% need more block. To make this work, we need more block. We also need more energy, because now we grab the demon form, and that just throws a monkey wrench in the situation here. Um... I think we're going to cut right up the middle. Probably try to fight one of those elites later on. You get a bunch of question marks. I think that's positive. Uh, you are doing 14 damage right off the bat. Reckless Charge is a sucky card, in my own opinion. I will likely be looking to get rid of it. I think you take 14 damage uh, to play Immolate with some, some beautiful stuff here. I also think that... Against what I said before, you hit him. Just so that he's now in range. You know, a couple of good good things bring us to a happy spot here. I'm going to play this. I am going to play this. He's going to take uh, some damage. Just get Immolate back around. That'll do it. And uh, that will do it even more so. Look, we need block. Shrug, fantastic. Ritual Dagger. Give me the 99 gold. I'm not a huge Ritual Dagger person. And, uh... I don't know. Where, when's our next shop here? Invisible. I will give you 85 gold. Uh, dude. Vajora is so good for us. Uh, okay. Now, this is a good time to give Reckless Charge. This is going to heal us to full... And we get rid of a card that we don't necessarily want in this run. So I am A-okay with it. What is more beneficial against this guy? I think Demon Form is. I also think Brutality is not needed on this. I, I wouldn't mind getting rid of that card either. Um, by the current state, totally fine. Shockwave, how much benefit does it give us? Not that much. You know, it wipes away two artifacts... Not very valuable. I think if you're going to do anything. It's like a really tough tough decision, actually. Um, I'm going to do Shockwave and then Iron Wave here. Iron Blast, whatever the hell that card is. God, dude. We, there's just so many good cards in this deck right now. I'm going to do this. 
Don't really care about any of these. We need energy more than anything else on this universe. Uh, another thing that would be lovely. Give me... Uh, give me Mummified Hand. Solely to give me a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of free cards by playing some of these powers that we have. We just have so many powers that we can't... We can't chunk through these enough. Now, this really sucks. Like, really, really sucks. We're going to take a big chunk of damage. I don't know, man. I'm not sure if the run has um, enough staying power here. I'm going to add another expensive card to the deck. And continue to cry a little bit. So Barricade being cheaper, obviously, uh, has value. Shockwave, dude, it's such a good good thing, man. Iron Wave is also just a great target. I, I think that making Barricade more playable has benefits. But I'm actually going to upgrade Shrug. Just because we have so little blocks in this deck, I think it's valuable to do this. Uh, luckily, we get a Pen Nib that just absolutely annihilates them. That makes my life much easier. Give me the max HP. I'm not looking to do max HP forever. I also think that that is 100% not the move we're taking. Because, oh my god, they've done it. These beautiful, beautiful Slay the Spire gods. Oh, dude. I'll tell you what. That feels like about as good as anything has ever felt in this game before. Ask for a relic, get the relic. Mummified Hand is huge. So, Demon Form... Makes Barricade free, which makes Thunderclap free. Give me good block. Good block. Good block. These are not good blocks, dude. I will take a free Shrug. Call it a day. We're going to take uh, 12 damage here. It's not amazing. But uh, hit me with a one of those. Followed by a that will not kill you. Give me a Shrug. As a whole, very small deck, dude. I mean, like, insanely small deck overall. Will this kill you? It will. So Reaper for 13. That's 13 HP back. And then 18 to you to kill you. It's not horrible. It's not horrible. Still looking for block. Omamori almost always will end up somewhat being beneficial in the future. It's another just insanely, uh, insanely expensive card. Would love to have it, but a little bit too expensive for me. So, I think that I will take uh, Omamori. I think I will take an Armaments, and then I think I'm going to remove Brutality, because I'm actually just never going to play it. Obviously, if we could get, like, a Rupture, there's value. See, this is a real tough decision. Um, I'm going to go for the good face. Whenever you enter a question mark room, gain 50 gold. That's absolutely fine. Uh, give me this. We're getting 50 gold out of it. I think we already got the 50 gold. Uh, and now we chill. So, Demon Form makes a free shockwave. Absolutely fine. Just one tiny bit of energy, man, makes our entire life easier. Now, this is lovely. I mean, we're, we're in a great position here now. Uppercut is good. Flame Barrier is huge. Give me the 11 there. If we can get Reaper later on to just bring us to full HP, I'll be an insanely happy man. That's not going to happen because we're just going to kill him. Sucks that we had to use Pen Nib, but I, I do think that just killing him is in the right right mind here. We did take a Heavy Blade. I don't think we need another one, so just give me the max HP. And uh, keep her coming here. Obviously, in a perfect world, we would be able to play Immolate and Shockwave and probably kill all of them. Sadly, this is not a perfect world. Uh, I think you have to play Immolate. Just to get that damage going early. This don't kill any of them. We can block for a little bit. What are, what can we draw to make us happy? Nothing, really. We'll get some free stuff going on the next turn. I think you just hit. And we're going to hit him. Could have used the Dex Potion. We, we take a lot of damage here. But we're going to be able to rest before the boss. Life will be fine. So, obviously, this is the intelligent play. It's going to give us a lot of HP back. Does now end our turn. Are we going to basically just lose all that HP back? Probably, yeah. 
I'm down to 42 is not not the best. Thunderclap? It's no thunderclap, man. Thunderclap? Flame barrier is very good. And will kill all of them, but we will take eight more in the process. It's pretty bad fight, actually. All things considered. Give me this armaments to start. Just give me the max HP. Uh, give me that armaments to start, and then that's going to be like 100% what we upgrade here uh, next. Because then it's just going to upgrade uh, all of our stuff. It's going to be quite lovely. So, armaments into an upgraded barricade. Get that out there into an infernal blade, which is just a body slam. Give me the dex on this, uh, this fight. I, I didn't need to pop that there, but I still think that's fine. We now have barricade out here. How valuable is it going to be? Dude, I, I think that there's a reasonable chance it's going to be very valuable on this run. So start with that. Um... I mean, Shrug has value with Barricade, for sure, but I think that playing Thunderclap is just a little bit better. Starting to get those artifacts away, losing Immolate, super blows, losing Demon Form, super blows. I hate it a lot. Obviously, Flame Barrier is a solid play here, and uh, I mean, I think that going, and we need Immolate back. Although I suppose demon form back early would be nice as well, just to get the strength going. Sitting for 24. That's a chunk, dude. That's a chunk. Please do this. Reaper now has insane benefits, as it's going to give back a good chunk of HP. Let, let's upgrade. Let's actually upgrade. Uh, it's not that good at all. Uh... I don't know. Shockwave isn't really that valuable. Upgrade the Iron Wave, and then we can just play it right now. We kill that guy. We actually take no damage here, and we get Immolate back. And we're on a, uh, a turn for Pen Nib. That is a non-minion enemy, so I don't really care about him. I think I'm in a situation where I don't really want to play anything, uh, because the doubled... Although, I mean, we can literally just destroy this guy. What are we drawing? We're almost certainly drawing Emulate. So I'm actually going to wait because the doubled Emulate is actually way better for us. And we will get it here. So that's 58 damage to all of them. We still take a chunk out of this. Uh, so I'm going to block some of it. As much as we can. Would love to play Demon Form. We're losing 22 health. It's not that bad, man. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, that's not that bad. Uh, this is the turn to play Demon Form. I also think it is acceptable to play Reaper, but I'm going to wait. And we will take two damage here from that burn. I don't know, man. It's going to be close. As is the case most of the time in this game, it's going to be close. Um, give me the block. Well, at 15 block, we're going to take 17 damage. It really is not amazing. This is also just a bad turn as a whole. Upgrade body slam, please. That becomes a 45 damage uh, body slam right there. We're rolling over 26. It's going to be very helpful when he does 40 to us. It's a 73 damage uh, heavy blade. It's a lot, dude. I think that's easy. I probably could have drawn first, but I, I knew what we wanted to play, and it was simple as that. I would love to get Reaper back around. There it is. I mean, that that's massive for us, dude. It's a lot of HP back. 28 to him? I, I'm just going to take advantage of that uh, and do that damage. He's doing 66. We will die if we do not do something here. But he will die before he can even think to do anything. Alright, I mean, it's showing that the run works, I guess. Strangely enough, I don't really think you want any of these. Fusion, you, you have to take Fusion Hammer. And luckily you have armaments, and it's going to be sitting in your hand at the start of combat. 
That's the right move, and, and I stand by it. You have to fight an elite on the third floor, huh? Boy, do I hate every second of that or what? Um, I mean, you can hit this shop. Dude, it's a lot of combat on this floor. Uh, I want to be able to hit a lot of question marks solely because we got Omamori, dude. Um, any of these question marks that provide us with uh, events, if they involve curses, we walk away free. That's why I care so much. See, now this one's weird. Because in a perfect world, Tyler wants to be able to play Demon Form uh, and Flame Barrier. But he can't. So he will just play uh, this. This is a not quite enough to get us out of this. So give me the upgraded Iron Wave. And then just hit this guy. We now take no damage. Obviously getting Barricade out there. Uh, pretty important one for us. I think this is a fine time to do it. We get feed. We're going to take a chunk of damage off of this, but we'd be able to feed this guy. I'm going to do it. You know, we take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Um, throw some dazes in our deck because of the draw. Don't really care. Shrug. Immolate. Does not kill all of them, but it kills one of them. We would take one damage to just kill him right now. I think that's a very fair trade, actually. So, Sword Boomerang, super solid. You know, if you can get Demon Form going, Sword Boomerang becomes incredibly strong. There's another part of me that goes, you know, another shrug is great. But I'm going to take the Sword Boomerang. We're going to see how it plays for us. Um, so I'm going to play a little bit riskier here. I'm going to get an upgraded demon form into an upgraded barricade. I'm going to drink this. And then I'm actually going to weaken this guy. Oh, we had an up the friggin immolate, dude. How dumb are you? The answer is I'm super dumb. Uh, so I think that Reaper here has some benefits um that said not gonna play it solely because i want a little bit of block it's 18 damage to that guy we'll block for a little bit it's still going fine you know you're still you're relying on and this is where we run into an issue you're relying on basically two cards to give you block uh and that is not exactly where you want to be so 40 damage it actually spread it out real nice i'm very happy with that and they're going to take damage from uh, from our thing here. You, an Immolate almost kills all of them, I think. So, boom. Boom. Basically brings us back to full, and then boom. Okay, I can't say that didn't work. Who is our final boss? Dude, disarm, don't do that much for him. So I'm just going to take the HP. I am going to go up this path that provides us with... Uh, I mean, it's a little bit more combat. The path that provides us with the most question marks is the path for me. We also hit a shop. You know, who knows what could be in there. Could be very solid. I'm going to take the time to draw here. And uh, what an absolute waste of a draw, man. It's actually super unfortunate. Uh... Wow, man. It's really unfortunate. You were really hoping for uh, one of your powers to come out of here. You're, you're two big, big heavy hitters. Uppercut is fine. You're now on Pen Nib. That, that's massive, actually. Pen Nib has proven to do good work for us on this run. Now, that becomes a 65 damage card. And it's free. And barricades free. And bashes. I, well, how stupid do you have to be, dude? In all seriousness, how stupid do you have to be to waste your pen nib? The answer is real freaking stupid. Give me this to upgrade that forever. Obviously, heavy blade, pretty solid. You know, that also pretty solid. We're retaining all this block. I'd like to get metallicize upgraded. Um eventually but that's not gonna happen just realize because we're in a situation where upgrades don't occur anymore so i actually think uppercut just to keep him weak and vulnerable let's keep that going the weakness is doing good things i'm not sure we're gonna take damage against this guy 
Um, you know, we have a pretty good situation here. Give me the upgraded Iron Wave. And then 40 damage. That don't kill him yet. I, I don't know, man. It's reaching the point I should probably play feed. 33 damage. It's a good chunk, dude. Not enough, but it's a good chunk. Uh, I would love to be able to get feed going on some of these guys. Like, draw feed, please. Draw feed, please. I'm not going to draw feed, so just kill him. It's fine. Twin Strike, not really what I'm looking for. I, honestly, none of those really what I'm looking for. Good relics, good relics, good relics. Um, I mean, none of those are really that great. Is there a card we just hate in the deck? One that we never find ourselves playing? Not really. Um, I think the deck is fine. Blood Vial has benefit. Um, I mean, you can membership card and still get Blood Vial. And at least we're now in a situation where uh, the future looks bright for doing some some shopping. I know we will hit another shop up here if we choose to hit it, but I don't know. It, probably not the best play ever, but that's okay. So, is madness that valuable? It can be, actually. Uh, so I think I'm going to take them. It's a weird decision. I will say that, but it, it does work here. No draw. Sucks. Let's do that. We're on a pen nib. I would really prefer not to play an attack if we're on a pen nib. So give me the upgraded metallicize. I, I am going to wait on literally both of those. Um, I would much rather get a nice... He is intangible for this turn. Player moves carefully. It's a lot of damage, dude. 58 does nothing to him, okay? Keep in mind you got intangible man here. It's a lot of expensive cards. He's doing a lot of damage. Weaken him. Bash is not really what I was looking to do with this. Starting to get a little bit sketchy. A little bit sketchy. Um, I might be looking at things a little bit weird here. And, and you can't play anything because of the, uh, the stupid intangibility. So what are we drawing? I would be okay with Heavy Blade. We take no damage. Odds of this go... Well, I mean, no matter what... No, it's not true. Why, why would you play this if you're going to play Heavy Blade? It's 57 damage versus 24 damage. Just hit him, dude. Get this crap over with. Move on with your day. Um, We take no damage on a relatively large attack from this man. Armament saves us a tiny bit. Uh, why would you do it? Why, why would why would you play it? Honestly, he's intangible. Who knew, dude? Okay, play this, play this, play this, play this. Carrying over a decent chunk of block, twenty, but he's gonna hit like a horse. Forty-five. You need this. My man's intangible again. I'm going to heal, man, just because I'm starting to get a little bit concerned that uh, we might die to this elite. You need this. Got to smack him a little. Taking three damage, but he's taking a good amount. Get demon form. This sucks, but he's at least vulnerable now. Another big chunk. I don't know, dude. It's getting real sketchy. He is dead, though. Okay. I hated that. Kunai is okay. Can you afford to throw an Impervious into the deck? Think for kicks and giggles. Let's go for it. This is a sucky fight, actually. Free Shrug. Free Barricade. Free Bash. 
You're gonna take nine damage. It's just continuing to bring us down a little bit. A little bit. I almost think Impervious is a must. What else do you want here? So, 14 with all unblocked damage. I mean, that is going to give us back 28. I don't know, man. It's really good. That's worth it. Uh, super worth it. I, 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 you can't tell me otherwise. That's a great, great use of that, I think. Flame Barrier. I think you do this. You, you take damage in the process, but it, it gets blocked, so we're fine. And then... That's not going to do anything. Fantastic. And now we got a crappy card in our deck. Infernal Blade has proven to actually be, like, significantly worse than I ever wanted it to be. Give me this upgraded. That's a bit of a sucky turn yet again, dude. We can just kill this guy. So, I mean, this will... This is a tough one. So, we're going to have... If I play this, they all die. But in the process, we will take 24 damage. If I don't do that... You know what? I don't want to do math, man. I don't want to do math. Give me the HP. Uh, okay. I think you have to rest. So, I'm going to take advantage of the rest now. Uh, and then we'll move into this horrible, terrible path of who knows what. It's not really what I'm looking for, man. I'm going to lose Shockwave as I've been finding myself. You know, it's been difficult to uh, do that. I'm actually going to buy two potions. Those are both relatively okay. Still looking for some way that I can use Omomori. It's looking like a pretty bad purchase right now. Okay. In a perfect world, we would be able to play Barricade and Impervious. That perfect world didn't happen. And that's okay. We take no damage. You get to play Demon Form and Barricade. Uh, how are you mad, you know? There's worse things in life. So this will do... Heaven only knows what. It's going to put a curse in our deck. I, we really, like, genuinely don't want that. It's going to be an issue, dude. We're getting the curse in our deck. Happy birthday, dude. Happy birthday. Oh, oh, Mamori saves us. Okay. You know what? It's found its use in life. Wild Strike. You know what? It's fine, actually. Although curses are, are genuinely just terrible for us. I'm gonna bite the bullet. We get a little bit of dex. It's bad, dude. It's bad. That's uh, 36 coming in. You lose almost all your block now. We've been building up so uh, so beautifully for a while. On the bright side, you have some really good damage that's been coming in now. And he's not doing jack squats you. I think he's dead. You know, immolate here. I still think he's dead. Yeah, that, that will do it. Could have Reapered uh, beforehand. Definitely could have. I'm actually going to throw another Iron Wave in this deck. I think there's some value there. Uh, we will have full HP, most likely, going into the boss fight. Which I think is better than you may uh, think it could be. Shrug. Come on, hit Barricade. You did not hit Barricade. I don't know. I don't really want to hit anyone. Because you got a decent chance of it hitting bad things. So we'll just do the six damage to those guys. I don't know. It's still a good run. Um, once again, the the beauty of... Um, not bad. Hit you. Bring back... Flame Barrier. I don't know. Do you take damage here? 11 is 40 damage. You take some. 
I, I, I'm fine taking seven damage here. That's okay. Life goes on. You get some block on the next one anyway. Uh, can we kill off one of you? Yeah. So boom. Feed. You would like to be able to kill this guy before he explodes on you. Which means you have to play Immolate. Which means you're taking 12 damage. Which means you're not taking 12 damage. You're taking like 2 damage. I think it's absolutely fine. And now it's just a, a waiting game. I mean, we, we build up our block with uh, Barricade here. In this rare moment, it does actually benefit us to do this. Because we just get the same amount back. You're going to take another 6 or 7. 6. And now just build your block uh, as much as you can. 8 and 8. You'll take 1 and kill both of them. That's fine. I don't mind, man. Drop kick. Uh, it's a free attack, really. There's not going to be often that we uh, we struggle to do things with that. Now, we do have some powers in the deck, uh, which, which alarms me greatly with this fight. That said, I will still do this. And I think that it's a smart move. Uh, you have an Immolate now that it will be basically your your thing that you're using Pen Nib on. And, I mean, we're in the final fight, so you might as well do all this as well. And just get that going. You're going to take some damage here. Six. Life goes on. Please, I would really prefer to pull... Oh, come on, man. You're going to tell me that you're not going to give me... Uh, you're not going to get... Oh, there it is. Except that was our uh, pen nib. So, sucks to be us. Uh, it's not really what I was looking for there. I'm going to immolate. At the current moment, we, we do take damage. And this doesn't kill him. So, I actually think we're going to wait on that. A and I might legitimately wait. Mm, I'm going to do this now. And get that regen. And then just hit, hit. Yeah, it's totally fine. There's 40 damage coming in, dude. It's a decent chunk. We are three decks up, which is nice. But this guy starts to hit, and he hits hard. So, demon form. Into Immolate. Into a Shrug. Into this. We take no damage. We roll over 20 block. Now, that's what I like to see. He's doing 44 damage. Not really what you like to see. But we can roll over a lot of block. And that, that's a lot of block rolled over. Another 20. He's doing 25. That's nothing, dude. And really, the fact that Demon Form's out here... That's what makes uh, life good. So 34 damage card. We're on. We're not on pen nib. So just do it. Carrying over six block is a big attack coming. No, just uh, 25. Still big. Don't get me wrong. At the current moment, we can play everything. So not really too concerned. Play this. Get that going. You're rolling over two block. It's starting to look a little bit sketchier. Obviously losing out on. Uh, can we just kill him here? Maybe. I think. Okay. That's good. Roll him over to the next phase. And then crap hits the fan, dude. Crap hits the fan. Iron waves are important. Because they're block, man. 27 block out of that is huge. I think next... I mean, 14 times 4 is going to be 12 plus 40... Is that even remotely right? No, it's 16 plus 4 is 56 damage. So 56 and 16 is more than 69. You gain dex from that as well. It actually ended up being significantly more anyway with Pen Nib. 15 damage. He's doing 23. I do think, against my own will, you have to continue to add burns to this deck. Um... Uh, Immolate is too strong of a card to, to do so. To not do so, I suppose. Can't play them all, and you're taking a lot of damage, dude.
Give me some block. Give me more block. You're taking like 15. I, I think we have them on this next turn, maybe. It depends. Uh, Really depends? Yeah, we do. Fantastic, dude. Good run. Good run. I'm not mad. Obviously, uh, Super got carried by another uh, fantastic Pandora's box run. They're just too good. They're too good. That's all I can say. Thanks so much for watching. As always, liking the video. Much appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next one. You have a good day. Bye-bye.